Hello, welcome to the National Literacy Agency online storytelling program. Today I have a story from England for you. It is a very popular story. The title of this story is The Apple Tree Man. So it is story time. You look and you listen. Well done. Once upon a time there was a farmer and he lived on his farm together with his two boys. The elder was called Jack and the youngest was called John. Jack was very quiet. He talked very little, but he worked very hard and what he did, he did well. John, John talked and made jokes. The farmer loved him best. He just loved his humour and his style and unfortunately to him Jack was a disappointment. The farmer was very prudent and careful. He saved all his money and he put it in a box. That was his treasure. He never told anybody about his treasure. When his sons were young, he used to tell them stories. They sat around the fire and they listened. The story that they liked best was about the animals on the farm. Their father said that the animals on the farm talked, but they only talked once a year, and that was at midnight on Christmas Eve. So if you want to know about my hidden treasure, then you will have to wait until midnight of Christmas Eve. <laughs> Unfortunately, the farmer died. He left all of his land to John and he left Jack with no inheritance. John hired a piece of small land to his brother. It was only 10 by 10 paces square. There was an apple tree, the cottage, a cow and a donkey. He rented those for one shilling a year. Well, you might think that one shilling is not a lot of money, but it was. It was a lot of money during that time. And John, John hired a manager to take care of his business and he lived a life of ease. Jack bought the best food for his animals. He bought oils and herbs to rub onto the skin of his animals to make them feel better. He milked the cow and made cheese. He took care of the apple tree. By midwinter the cider was finished and Jack took the, the little cider that was left together with the drags and poured it onto the roots of the apple tree. As he said, apple tree, apple tree, I give to you as you give to me. Blessings on your harvest. One day before Christmas, John went back to the farm. When he saw Jack, he yelled and he said, You owe me one silver shilling. And Jack said, I always pay you on Christmas Day. Anyway, Tomorrow is Christmas Day. I don't think I will have a shilling. Will you please give me one more week until I sell the last of my cheese, the last of my cider and maybe some vegetables? But John was very greedy and he said, No, no, you will pay up tomorrow. John was going to walk to the cottage when all of a sudden he remembered the story his father used to say about the talking animals. He walked back to Jack 
and he said, Make sure you will wake me up at midnight. I want to know if those animals on the farm talk. Jack nodded. He fed the animals. He gave them the good food. He rubbed the oils into their skin. He went to the apple tree and like always he took some cider and he poured the cider onto the roots of the tree. And as always he said, Apple tree, apple tree, I give to you as you give to me blessings on your harvest. And just as he said that, the tree began to move and the bark of the tree it was like shimmering and Jack was a little bit frightened he was all ready to run away out of the bark of the tree came the apple tree man his face was very wrinkled his hands were very wrinkled, his knees were knobbly, his hair was very long and very green, just like the leaves on the tree. His cheeks were very rosy, rosy red, just like the apples that grew on the apple tree. Wait! Wait, my friend, don't run away. You have taken care of me just like you take care of a child. I want to give to you just like you give to me. And Jack stopped and he walked to the apple tree man. The apple tree man said that there was a treasure. There was a treasure under the tree. Jack, dig up the treasure and keep it. Keep it for yourself. Don't tell your brother anything. He is greedy. He is jealous. And Jack he took a shovel and he started digging and digging and digging, paying very much attention not to damage the roots. And he dug and dug until, until he hit a tin box. He dug up the box. He opened the lid and inside there was a treasure indeed. Money, money, money and so many precious things. Jack, he closed the box again and as he was going to look at the apple tree man, the apple tree man was inside the bark of the tree already. He took the shovel and he dug the hole up again. He took the treasure to his room and he hid it. It was midnight and Jack knocked on his brother's door. John, John, it is midnight. And John woke up and he pushed his brother away from the door. He went to the barn, but he did not go inside. He hid. There was a window and he hid under the window. And what do you know? At midnight on Christmas Eve, the animals talked. 
the cow said, Merry Christmas, donkey. And donkey replied, Merry Christmas, cow. How do you feel? Not bad, said cow. Same as always, but no complaints. And they talked of this and of that and of this and of that. And John was all ears. He was waiting to listen. He was waiting to hear something said about that treasure. But the cow, the cow said, Hey donkey, have you heard anything about the treasure? The farmer's treasure? Nope, said donkey. I don't think I have. Well, I have, said Cow, but I know that John is hiding outside the barn. I will not say anything. He is very greedy and jealous. And the animals laughed and laughed. And just as his father said, the animals knew everything about them. They knew everything about the farm. John was furious. He went inside the barn. He stomped his feet and he shouted, You animals, tell me, tell me about the treasure. But the cow went moo. And the donkey went And John was angry and he ran back to the cottage. In the morning, Jack went to his brother. Merry Christmas, brother of mine. Here is your silver shilling. John was very suspicious. Where did you get that shilling from? But Jack, Jack simply smiled and said nothing. Within a year, he bought all his brother's land. And every year at midnight during Christmas Eve, he went to the apple tree. And he poured cider on the roots of the apple tree. And he said, Apple tree, apple tree, I give to you as you give to me. Blessings on your harvest. And that is the end of my story today. Which part of the story did you like best? Was there anything you didn't like? If you had to change something in the story, what would you change? Until the next time, bye-bye children.